Okay, so first of all, I'm going to type equals if, and the logical test will be, is this number here minus this number here equal to one? which is what it would be if there was no missing number in the sequence. So for value if true, I want this to be a blank cell, which will be two quotation marks with nothing in between. Then for value if false, that's going to be the lower number plus one, which is what the next number in the sequence would be. And close brackets and enter and double click to send this formula down. And you'll see in most cases, I get blank cells. And then whenever there is a number missing, it appears next to the previous number. It messes up at the end here because of the blank cell underneath, but we can just ignore that. There is a problem if there is more than one number missing. We'll only get the first number. So in order to fix this, I'm going to edit this formula and replace this bit at the end with a sequence. And for the sequence, I'm going to skip the rows because I want the results to spill across the columns. Then for the number of columns, that is going to be the bigger number minus the smaller number. That will actually get me two, which is one more than what I want. So I need a minus one at the end here. Then for the start, that is going to be the smaller number plus one, which is what the next number in the sequence would be. And enter. And then I can drag this formula up and then double click to send it down. And everything stays the same, except now we have both of the missing numbers listed here. And it messes up the formula at the end, but that doesn't matter. Another method for doing this is to use equals sequence again to create a complete list of all of the numbers in the sequence, including the missing ones. So for the number of rows, that's going to be the biggest number minus the smallest number. Then I also need to add one onto the end of this in order to include the last number. Then for the columns, I can skip this. And for the start, that's going to be the smallest number again, and close brackets and enter. And now we get the same sequence of numbers, but this time it includes all of the missing numbers. You can see it's slightly longer here at the end. Now I'm going to use VStack to combine these two lists together. So the first array will be the original list here, and then the second array will be the results of the sequence formula. And then this will vertically stack these two lists on top of each other. So we get the first set of numbers here, and if I scroll down, you can see the second list of numbers starting here. Now I am going to do equals unique, and the array is going to be the results of the VStack formula. I'll skip by col, and then for exactly once, I will select true, return items that appear exactly once, and enter. And this here is my list of missing numbers. And this works because if a number appears both in this list and in the sequence formula, it will appear twice in the VStack formula. This might be easier to see if I were to sort this list. And now you can see that most numbers are going to appear in here twice but only numbers that are missing from the original list will appear here once because they'll only be included in the sequence formula. And the unique formula is searching for the numbers that appear exactly once, which means the only numbers that it finds are the ones that are missing from the first list because almost all of these numbers appear here twice and the unique formula ignores all of these. This formula also has the advantage of working even when the order of the numbers is messed up. 
So if I swap these numbers round, you can see it messes up these formulas here, but this formula still gives the same results. We can also turn these numbers here into formulas. So this will be the maximum of this range. And then we will be subtracting the minimum of this range. Then I'll copy the minimum part and paste it in here because this is also the minimum. And we get these same results. I have also turned these formulas into a let formula and also a lambda formula. And I'll leave copies of these in the description. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to find numbers missing from a sequence in Excel. And that is everything.